Yo, what's up guys? Professor here. Today we're hopping into FL Studio with a pitcher tutorial or an auto-tune tutorial. Though in FL Studio, the auto-tune software that comes with it is called Pitcher. It's a vocal pitching software. Uh, if you're looking for one on New Tone, be sure to check my previous video where I explain how to use New Tone. New Tone offers more control when it comes to re-pitching of vocals, and that's what I like to use. But if you want a classic and like easy and quick auto-tune effect, you can use Pitcher. Uh, let's go right into the project. All right, guys, so we're in the studio. First thing you guys need to know is that the pitcher software comes with the FL Studio signature bundle and up. So if you have the signature bundle, pitcher will be uh, usable within your DAW. You access it first by going into your mixer, clicking on a slot, and it's gonna be in the miscellaneous section uh, with like new tone and stuff like that. So we got pitcher here. We're gonna click and open that. And we're actually gonna explain how Pitcher works. I'm gonna speak while I show you guys this stuff, all right? So Pitcher is a real-time pitch correction, manipulation, and harmonization plugin that can correct and harmonize under MIDI control from a keyboard or piano roll. Let's demonstrate the basic features of it by enabling it, or it's already enabled. Let me go into one and two. All right, so once we get Pitcher going, the first thing you have is your reference up at the top. Now, this is selecting an input channel, left, right, or independent, in which the software will register and be pitching. If you use the middle, uh, which is independent mode, Pitcher tunes the left and right audio channels independently from each other, not together. So it might not be ideal for vocals unless you're trying to do something crazy like this. I just uh, keep it on a solo channel. All right, so next you have your minimum frequency. What this is, you're selecting the minimum detected frequency at input hood. So basically what this is listening to, this input pitch area. Um, there are some benefits of choosing the proper minimum input frequency. The reason you do this is because you don't want low frequencies disturbing and messing with the frequency that needs to be detected. Basically, 110 is a good starting point. Vocals really start to get important at 80 hertz. Male vocals, you can mm, try using anywhere between 80 and 170. And if you're dealing with female vocals, try anywhere between 170 and 220. Next is our tools here. You actually have your scale and key. When you open it up, all the notes are selected. But you can also select a major, minor, pentatonic, or just all. And then one single note if you want it to always be C. Um, and it works if you know the pitch of your song. Like, I know this is in D minor. So I can go to D minor. And now this will be pitching to the proper pitch within the song. You can also, if you don't know the pitch of your song, just go look at your piano roll. Just go look at your piano roll and see like, oh, I'm using D3 and E, or I'm using D, F, A, and A sharp. I'm gonna go make sure that D, F, A, and A sharp are activated. If these are off, then they won't be being used. So you can also just manually do that with your notes that you have from your project. So yeah, if you know it, it makes it easier. Uh, this A3 hertz tuning is you can adjust the frequency of A3, I guess, which is normally at 440. And then you can pitch it to other reference scales, like up and down. I'm going to keep mine at 440. Now, your input pitch, as you see, is that I'm going to try and keep a solid note and pay attention to the input and then the output is what you're hearing. So it's going to click it to the nearest one and put that on the output pitch that's output pitch that activated. If you click this, you bypass all of pitcher. Like you just, it's all bypassed. If you have this, it's enabled. You can bypass specific outputs. If you bypass specific input pitches, falling in the capture zone for that note will pass uncorrected. Let me try and hit that F note and see if it goes uncorrected. Uh... So here, 
I get a really natural sound on the F when I have that output pitch bypass, but everything else is tuned. Next, we're going to talk about speed. And this is why my voice is so garbled and annoying right now. Speed is how quickly your voice snaps to the center of that note. Notice as I'm slower, I sound much more natural. Ooh. Middle. Ooh. Fast. So faster is going to give you more of that like classic auto-tune sound that people think of when they think of auto-tune. And a slower speed is going to be more natural and probably unnoticed by people who have no clue how pitching works. So you want to establish within your vocal take and the music what sounds best. And we'll do that later once I record a vocal take in. Next, let's talk about uh, format. This pretty much is uh, uh, changing the resonance of where the vocal is, you'll see that I get like So you can like use this to like fuck with the voice a little more if you want to. Fine pitching. This lets you choose a tune up one semitone or down one semitone and any of the hundredths between that. This is up one semitone and this is down one semitone. Which, now let's go back in. Because you would think this is where the features of pitcher ends, right? But no. You also have the ability to use your MIDI to do this. But you need to make sure that your MIDI port number lines up with your port on your MIDI settings. I have mine set to zero, so I need to click and drag this up, and now it's on zero. Now, check this out. Now, it's not gonna harmonize unless you go to harmonize. And in this instance, you can create multiple voices when you press multiple notes. I'm gonna pan one to the right, one to the left, and keep another one in the center. Now check this out. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's that pretty cool that you could just do that if you want to. You got your stereo spread. Velocity actually will, um, if I press the note like lightly, it'll be a light sound. And if I press it hard, it'll be like a loud one. Uh, 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 see? Oh, replace mix. When this, is, when this is off, it merges your voice with the harmonization. Yeah. You can hear me in there. I'm gonna turn it off now. Yeah. So I like to leave. Uh, it just depends on what you want the sound like. You got your stereo spread. This is pretty um, like straightforward. Let me just make a chord real quick. Yeah. So you could do how much stereo spread there is. You also have octaves which is going to directly link it to wherever it is on the keyboard. So you got like, yeah. oh, that's because this is really high. If I go to octave lower, check it out. Wow. Another octave lower. Wow. And harmonize all of them once. Yeah. Let me go up one. Check this out. Yeah. Um, so that's like the 
ridiculously like cool features that you could do with this. Now, it's automatically going to be like this with these deselected, these not pushed in. Now, you can choose to use these as you want through your production. All right, so now that we know our way around Pitcher, let's try to apply it to the track. I'll go ahead and record something dry. Uh, that means without effects. So, like, this is my effect chain I'm actually going to use in the final one. But um, you want to record things clean. The reason why you want to record things clean is because if you record them with effects on, you won't be able to remove those later if you need to. But it is good to audition what your sound is going to be like. You know, if I want to know in advance and perform it with the track, I can do that. Hey, yo, hey, maybe I want more pitch. Yo, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, y'all. So I've auditioned it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna record it clean over on a separate track. Now if you, you want to hear, hear yourself without, without hearing, hearing yourself, yourself like, like this, this, you can turn this off, and then you can connect it to, to this, this to to record a clean one, and you can also hear yourself while you're doing it. But this is the one that's set to record. This doesn't have any things coming in. This does. So this will be the one that's armed to record, and you'll get a clean record, but you'll be able to audition hearing yourself while you're doing the performance. Check it out. Hey. Yeah. 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 Oh. All right, so check it out. I'm going to delink this. And now listen to this. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh. Even though we heard it with the effects, the effects aren't applied because we are recording it through the clean channel. Um, but I'm just going to record without uh, the processing, and then I'll move it into my Vox area, all right? Yo, I, I, yo, so, yo, so, yo, I, yo, yo, yo. Something for this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty be talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I pulled the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. For this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty, she talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I pulled the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. All right, cool. So now we got we got our clean track. Let's check it out. Something for this we drink them is nothing. Shawty be talking, she front and hitting the guest now she coughing. That's nothing. I'm just gonna go directly apply that into my chain twenty with all the effects. Let's just listen to it with the pitcher. Something for this we drink them is nothing. Shawty be talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing. I'm stunting. I pulled the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Let's listen to it with the song. Guys, let's go ahead and listen, I guess. Yo, hey, hey, yo. So, yo, hey, yo, yo, yo. Something for this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty be talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I pulled the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. For this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty, she talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I pulled the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. Something for this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty be talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I put the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. For this, we drink them, it's nothing. Shawty, she talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm stunting. I put the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. Yo, ay, ay. Yo, so, yo, so, yo, hey, yo, yo, yeah, 
Something For the drink up is nothing And shot be talking she front and hitting the gas now she call Yo Ay Ay Yo So Yo So Yo Ay Yo Yo Yeah Something For the drink up is nothing And shot be talking she front and hitting the gas now she coughing That's nothing I'm stunting I pull the drink out the coffin and I kill a fight, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. For this, we drink them, that's nothing. Shorty, she talking, she frontin'. Hitting the gas, now she coughing. That's nothing, I'm starting. I pull the drink out the coffin. I kill a thought, yeah, it's nothing. Murder the game, yeah, I'm saucing. That's nothing, I'm bossing. Alright guys, so I'm hoping that that is clear on how pitcher works. Remember that there is a uh, different software uh, used for more detailed vocal correction called Newtone within FL Studio. And if you, know, you guys, I... if you guys want to see how Newtone is used, remember that I have that video uh, that I put in the description below where I could show you guys how to use Newtone to make fine tuning and have much more control over vocal correction if pitcher is not working out for you. Uh, but it will be there will be times that pitcher does work and you need something to work quickly or that it works really great for the sound you want um it has a lot of cool features like that harmonization midi and octave tool i mean really it's a great piece of software or it's a great plugin that comes with fl studio um yeah guys i hope this was a useful tutorial if you found the information useful or helpful please leave a like and uh subscribe for more content if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll try and answer them i try and answer all the questions i get or if you just have any comments leave them below too i love checking out your guys content and when you guys leave a comment it makes it much easier for me to engage with your channels as well and check out your stuff check out spotify and soundcloud it helps me a ton when you guys check out my music on those platforms oh and be sure to follow your boy on the gram if you want to check out some stuff that i do just in my normal life or updates on projects that i'm working on songs things like that Guys, it's been a pleasure. Keep grinding, keep working hard. Love you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. Whew.